hello, hello, my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl Lumi Love here with another message from the divine. As I always say today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden out your heart for I'm just the messenger and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for the likes, subscribe, shares, and views. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. Let's go ahead and get into it. I know um, after the last reading, I mean before the last reading, I was like, I ain't going to read the signs until tomorrow, but I got the energy, so let's go ahead. I'll give y'all a quick little roundup, Taurus, about what's going on on this Good Friday and the energy for you, okay? So if Taurus is your sun, moon, or rising, your lucky numbers are 28, 10, and 14. If you so happen to have Taurus somewhere else in your chart or you know a Taurus, this could resonate. If not, stick around, my loves. I'm going to try to do it as quick as possible, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels already gave me what we got going for the Taurus Collective, so let's go. All right, we got somebody who is low vibing. They're upset because you're unique. It really makes them angry. That's that's horrible because this you got two. I guess it's the truth, though. This person is so low vibe that they made as hell. Okay, that you're unique, you stand out because they're greedy. They want all the attention. They want everything, okay? So they want to come to you maybe and act like they're sorry because they were jealous of you. They were trying to be greedy, but you don't care though. And that makes them even madder. Okay, this low vibing person was hating on you. That's what it is. This low vibing person is a hater. This person was hating on you just because they were greedy, okay? Uh, you're unique, so... You know, they was hating on you because you're different. They're not, okay? They like, I'm getting this a masculine, so I can't even say plain Jane energy. You are very dependable for this person. And this person's now exposed. Okay, and with them being exposed, they're emotional because you're gifted. They can't hate on that. The thing is, this person was upset that you're gifted. This person was upset that you had some sort of progress going on for you, okay? Material success is what I'm hearing. This person was very upset, yeah, that you're a perfectionist. You are a hard worker, okay? Whatever you wanted to do, you were going to manifest it. You were going to put the work in to do it. And this person probably was just lazy, this person was lazy, but also they tried to do magic to you to maybe slow you down, okay, and try to get social justice. So, yeah, this person saw that you were moving forward. They got jealous, so they tried to set up things to make you have to continue to recover from it so that you couldn't keep moving forward. A lot of roadblocks, okay, because they wanted to try to beat you to your... They wanted, I'm hearing the end of the rainbow. They wanted to try to beat you to your, your pot of gold, all right? You're having forward movement in your career, okay? It's nothing that's going to happen to you career-wise. It's nothing that you can heal from because you have God on your side, okay? And this masculine, like I thought, this masculine wanted to cut you down. This masculine didn't want you being optimistic and being self-confident and being very strong-willed, okay? And moving towards your material success. This person saw that you were going to manifest it because you were sitting in this innocent-ass queen of cups, nurturing energy, okay? You're a dreamer. You're very kind and warm-hearted. That is your energy, period. With you living in the energy of love, of course you were going to be able to move forward and recover from whatever this masculine was doing in the background. He was doing some sort of sex magic, also some other magics I'm getting with this stick too. He might have been trying to get people to take you out, knock you down, get people to copy you, get people to try to take your career from you, uh, try to see what you're going to create next and try to give it to someone else so that they can create it for themselves and receive justice. It was kind of like you were an idea maker and these people were going to use you because they had no fucking creativeness at all and so he wanted to make it to where he was selling bitches dreams like he was selling them actual dreams that were going to bring them money if you said you wanted to do nails he was going to go back and tell a bitch who was doing nails what you were planning on doing so she could try to do it first and knock you out the box same thing with hair same thing with cars same thing with anything that you're doing same thing with food this masculine wanted someone to try to beat you beat out your energy someone to be better than you so he actually went around and partnered up with people to try to find someone to try to be better than you. And he's pissy disappointed because it did not work. You're too clever. You're too intellectual. There's nothing you cannot do. And that just pisses this person off. All right. You spiritually awoken and healed from this person. You don't deal with this person. And now they're the ones that are multitasking and don't know what to do. Can't keep money. Can't keep a career up. Being left out in the cold from certain situations. People don't want to work with them. Okay, these because these people were trying to send this magic towards you to cause illusions. I'm also getting they wanted to change people's perspective of you. So not only were they doing magic, not only was he going out, you know, recruiting little haters, but he also was going out here spreading false information about you. Oh, yeah, she this type of person. She that type of person. She a hoe. She messy. She whatever. What else? To try to deceive you. Okay, so no one will want to work with you. But you're coming out as this innocent energy, period. 
You're coming out as that energy and not as King of Wands was sending the message or people are now sending the message to other people. No, he's sending the message to them talking about he missed an opportunity with you and he's sorry and he want to restart and he want to move off of common waters with you. He should have never betrayed you. He want to be in a relationship with you. Like this is what he's telling people now. Everybody know this man pressed. Okay, if he ain't saying this out his mouth, he's saying it to them in, in certain ways with how he's acting. Okay, you broke free from this masculine. You're standing in your truth and your light. I heard, okay, moving on to a brand new uh, cycle, maybe a whole new brand new relationship, whatever, a whole new thing of confidence, okay? And this masculine want to bring you some romantic offer to try to knock you off your pedestal, he says again, okay? This person wants to try to knock you down again. You're having commercial success. You're gaining, you're gaining funds that he never thought you was going to be able to get because, like I said, he was trying to hold you back from every damn thing, okay? You're moving forward, being very enthusiastic, okay? And you're moving quick. Quickly, all right. It's a lot of people that want to be competitive with you. Maybe a lot of people that he brought these offers to that want to be competitive with you, trying to control you, trying to take what's yours. But that's not happening, okay? He he he's looking back and knowing that he invested in all this just to get nothing, all right. And you taking yourself the beginning of your prosperity, everything you got going for you, you're taking it to a whole other king of cups. Y'all gonna be successful in this relationship, see? Because you got the hidden knowledge on some people that were four cups, missed an opportunity. Yeah, you got the hidden knowledge that this masculine is in a third party. And this masculine is still trying to put you in the third party just to get security. He want to use your energy and take it back to whoever he with. Child, you got your guard up against this masculine. You don't want nothing from him. You're going towards your own successful energy. This man just want to cause you a roadblock because he is having all kind of burdens. And he can't figure out a plan or he wants to take some sort of opportunity. Yeah, he want to take it from you. Okay, and this could just simply be your life source, love. This masculine, because you up here shining, this your life source. This masculine wants to take this life source, okay, uh, transmute it into some cash, some sort of wealth, some sort of money, make himself be Mr. Big Stuff, and take you out. Just so he can be an authority figure over you. Just so he can say he's better than you. Just so say, say he rules over you. This person is a hidden enemy of your past. And he is still the same way in the present, baby. Keep moving forward and go for your uh, fulfillment. Your new uh, cycles. Okay? Your success. Your accomplishments. Keep going toward the bag is what I'm getting off this night, night of pentacles. You have internally healed from anything this masculine be trying to do to you. And this is your time to shine. This is your new start. You are stepping out on faith because this is what you're supposed to do. This masculine is too busy trying to run off your coattail, run behind you because you out here looking good and he ain't got shit going on because he was too much of a damn devil. Okay, tried to cause too many problems for you. Tried to cause unstable, uh, tried to cause situations where you would be unstable. You couldn't pay for things like this masculine really tried to get a whole group of people to block you. I'm getting in your community. Community. you could have been blackballed okay all these people's is ops I, each and every one of them they're too busy trying to defend their status okay but that's not what you're doing basically these people are in competition with you and you're not so that's why they're failing because they're the ones in competition with you all right you're moving forward you're going to be victorious you ain't got nothing to worry about baby love these just some haters that still hating and can't figure out why they're at the bottom of the bucket and you are nowhere to be found okay they feel like after all the spell work they did your ass should be down here too and no, okay. All right, y'all. This is it. This is all my loves. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up and get ready to do the next one. So if you enjoyed this one, then come on, meet me there.